Is paying off your mortgage as quickly as possible, always the best decision? It's a question that's been asked time and again. The common belief is that it's always best to pay off your mortgage as fast as you can. This belief is rooted in the desire for financial freedom, the longing to rid oneself of a significant financial burden, and the quest to reduce stress. Imagine the feeling of knowing you own your home outright. No more monthly payments, no more interest charges, just the peace of knowing that your home is truly yours. This is the dream that drives homeowners to pay off their mortgages early. It's a noble goal, one that's shared by many. However, is this always the best course of action? Does this approach always make the most financial sense? Could there be another side to this coin that we're not seeing? But could there be a more financially savvy approach? Let's explore this further. Consider the case of Mr. Thompson, a homeowner who decided not to pay off his mortgage early. Now this might seem like a financially risky move, but let's take a closer look. Mr. Thompson, like many of us, was faced with a decision. Should he pour all his extra cash into paying off his mortgage, or should he invest it elsewhere? Mr. Thompson chose the latter. Instead of rushing to pay off his mortgage, he intelligently allocated his money into a diversified portfolio. This meant he invested across a range of different assets, like stocks, bonds and mutual funds. By diversifying his investments, he spread his risk across various sectors, reducing the potential for financial loss. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't he just pay off his mortgage and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with owning his home outright? Well, it's all about the numbers. The average annual return on investments in the stock market has historically been higher than the interest rate on most mortgages. So, by investing his money instead of using it to pay off his mortgage, Mr. Thompson was actually able to earn more in the long run. This approach isn't just about making money though, it's also about building wealth. While Mr. Thompson was generating a higher return on his investments, he was still making regular mortgage payments. This means he was gradually building equity in his home, while also growing his investment portfolio. It's like having your cake and eating it too, financially speaking. Of course, this strategy isn't without its risks. The stock market can be volatile, and there are no guarantees when it comes to investment returns. But by diversifying his investments, and sticking to a long-term strategy, Mr. Thompson was able to navigate these risks and come out on top. Mr. Thompson's case shows a different path, one that can lead to increased financial prosperity. His approach might not be traditional, but it certainly gives us food for thought. After all, the goal isn't just to own a home, it's to build wealth and secure our financial future. Then there's the story of Mrs. Johnson, another homeowner who chose a different path. Our tale begins with Mrs. Johnson, a homeowner with a keen sense of opportunity. Instead of falling into the usual trap of paying off her mortgage early, she decided to do something different. She had some spare cash that she could have easily used to chip away at her mortgage. But Mrs. Johnson saw a bigger picture. She saw an opportunity for growth. She realized that her home was her most valuable asset, and she wanted to make it even more valuable. So she took the money that she would have put toward her mortgage and invested it right back into her home. She upgraded her kitchen with modern appliances, revamped her master bathroom with elegant fixtures, and transformed her backyard into a beautiful oasis with a pool and patio. These upgrades were not just for her own enjoyment, they were strategic improvements aimed at increasing the value of her home. And boy did they pay off! When the time came for Mrs. Johnson to sell her home, she was able to command a much higher price than she could have without those upgrades. Her home stood out in the local real estate market, not just for its aesthetic appeal, but also for its upgraded features that many potential buyers found attractive. In the end, Mrs. Johnson's decision to hold on to her mortgage and invest in her home paid off handsomely. She sold her home for a significant profit much more than she would have saved by paying off her mortgage early. The key takeaway from Mrs. Johnson's story is that a mortgage is not always a burden to be shed at the earliest opportunity. Sometimes, it can be a tool for leveraging opportunities and making strategic investments. Mrs. Johnson's story illustrates how holding onto a mortgage can sometimes offer opportunities for further investment. 
So, what do these stories tell us about the belief in paying off mortgages quickly? Well, it's clear that the traditional wisdom of rushing to clear that mortgage debt isn't always the golden rule it's made out to be. In the tales of Mr. Thompson and Mrs. Johnson, we've seen two very different situations, but both highlight the same point. Paying off a mortgage early can certainly bring a sense of relief, a feeling of freedom, but it's not without its trade-offs. Let's revisit some of the key points we've covered. Mr. Thompson, in his haste to pay off his mortgage, missed out on the opportunity to invest his money in assets that could have grown over time. He tied up his funds in his home, and as a result, he was unable to capitalize on potential investment opportunities that could have brought him substantial returns. Then, there's Mrs. Johnson. She chose to use her extra cash to improve her property's value rather than paying off her mortgage early. By doing so, she not only increased her home's worth, but also her quality of life. Both examples illuminate the potential benefits of not rushing to pay off your mortgage. By investing wisely or enhancing your property, you could potentially increase your wealth more significantly than by merely eradicating your mortgage debt. Of course, this isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. For some, the peace of mind that comes with being mortgage-free is priceless. For others, the opportunity cost of not investing or improving their property is too great to ignore. It's all about balance. It's about understanding your financial situation, your goals, and your comfort level with debt. It's about making informed decisions that align with your personal circumstances. And there's one more thing to remember. Just because you're holding on to your mortgage doesn't mean you're not making progress. It simply means you're choosing a different path to financial success. Ultimately, the decision comes down to individual circumstances and priorities. But remember, sometimes holding on to your mortgage could open doors to greater financial success.